Available now. Link below. And now a special report on a political ad that is shaking up the 2024 presidential race. Former President Donald Trump has just released a powerful new campaign video. It's going viral, and it's sure to have the Biden administration in full damage control mode. The ad titled, Are You Better Off Than You Were Four Years Ago? It features a compilation of news clips and testimonials from everyday Americans, all pointing to one inescapable conclusion. The Biden economy is a disaster, and the country is crying out for change. With an eerie echo of Ronald Reagan's famous 1980 campaign line, Trump adds, it cuts to the heart of the economic pain Americans are feeling and positions him as a candidate who can turn it around. I've got a lot to say about this game-changing ad, and you don't want to miss my final thoughts, so stay tuned. Now, folks, before we dive into the details of Trump's powerful new ad, let me draw your attention to a critical issue. Just like how Biden's failed policies are hurting everyday Americans, cyber criminals, and data mining companies, well, they are constantly threatening our online privacy. That's why I use Virtual Shield to protect my personal information with military-grade equipment. Anonymous browsing and unlimited bandwidth Virtual Shield is like a digital secret service agent that keeps my online activity safe from prying eyes. It's quick, it's easy, and it's affordable. Just visit hidewithgary.com or click the link below and get up to 67% off in a 60-day risk-free trial. Don't let cyber criminals steal your data like Biden is stealing your prosperity. Protect yourself with Virtual Shield today. Now, Donald Trump's new campaign ad, Are You Better Off Than You Were Four Years Ago? Well, it's a master class in political messaging. The 90-second video, which has been viewed millions of times since its release, features a montage of news clips and interviews with ordinary Americans all of whom express a deep frustration and disappointment with the state of our economy under President Joe Biden. and opens up with a series of man-on-the-street interviews where people from all walks of life share their stories of economic hardship. I'm working five times harder, and when I calculate everything, hours work to the amount of money bringing in, it's nowhere near as high as it was, says one man. Another says, no, I'm not better off. These personal testimonials put a human face on the economic statistics and drive home the real-world impact of Biden's failed policies. The ad continues. It presents a barrage of polling data and news clips that paint a grim picture of the Biden economy. According to one poll, just 31% of Americans approve of how Biden is handling the economy, while staggering 56% disapprove. Another poll shows that 16% of Americans say they're better off financially since Biden took office, while 40% say they're worse off. The most negative response to this question in nearly 40 years. See for yourself. Are you better off now than you were in January uh, of 2021? No, I'm not. I mean, that's me being honest. I'm working five times harder. When I calculate everything, hours work to amount of money bringing in is nowhere near as high as it was. Just 31% of Americans approve of how Biden is handling this economy, 56% disapprove. And this is interesting, just 13% of Americans say they've gotten better financially since the president took office. Our latest ABC News poll shows uh, 4 in 10 Americans say they're worse off than when you were elected. Only 16% said they were better off. More than half of the country disapproves of Biden's job performance, weighed down by significant discontent over the economy. 40% say they are worse off financially than they were two years ago. The most negative response to that question in nearly 40 years of our polling. What do you say to the 44% of Americans who say they are worse off now than they were before Biden took office? An exclusive News Nation Decision Desk headquarters poll out this morning reveals almost every American, a staggering 97%, is somewhat or very concerned about soaring prices. The one thing I can't believe is that on my previous job, I got put, paid $5 less an hour than I do on this one, and I was better off at that time than I am right now. So what's behind this widespread economic misery? Well, the ad points the finger squarely at the radical left-wing agenda of the Biden administration. Since taking office, Biden has pursued a reckless course of massive government spending funded by borrowing and printing money. This flood of excess cash has caused inflation to skyrocket to 40-year high, with prices of everyday goods and services rising faster than wages. At the same time, Biden's anti-business regulations and his proposed tax hikes have created an environment of uncertainty and fear, discouraging investment and job creation. The result is an economy that is sputtering along with sluggish job growth and many Americans still unable to find work or forced to settle for lower-paying positions. 
Perhaps the most powerful moment in the ad comes when someone says, the one thing I can't believe is that my previous job, I got paid $5 less an hour than I'm doing this one, and I was better off at that time than I am right now. This heartbreaking statement encapsulates the despair and frustration that so many Americans are feeling under the Biden economy. So as the 2024 campaign heats up, Trump's ad is sure to be a major talking point. By adapting Ronald Reagan's famous campaign question to the current moment, Trump has created a powerful narrative that resonates with voters who are hungry for change. And the ad's viral success suggests that this message is striking a chord with Americans who feel left behind by Biden's administration and his policies. And of course, the Democrats and their allies in the mainstream media will try to dismiss the ad as mere political theater. They'll accuse Trump of cherry-picking data and exaggerating the extent of the economic challenges facing the country, but the truth is the numbers don't lie. Under Biden's leadership, the economy is struggling, and Americans are paying the price. Now, the ad follows a series of other viral hits, such as last month's titled, It's Been a Tough Few Days for Joe Biden. Watch this one. Tremendous amount of things you can cut. Let me be precise. Tremendous amount of things you can do, not cut. Last, not, not long ago, my buddy John McCain passed away. My predecessor friend, who went, he, that's how he ended his career. And what, what, we're, what they're going to do is to ensure a national, really endanger our national security. They're going to exp expend, a, you know. The, you have to look. Pennsylvania, I have a message for you. Send me to Congress that I can support this right. <coughs> Family for the, those farms for the, and their children. They have children of children to, to instigate the. Re so as we head into the 2024 election, voters will have a clear choice. They can stick with the failed policies of the Biden administration and watch as their economic prospects continue to decline, or they can embrace the vision of change and prosperity offered by Donald Trump and the Republican Party. If Trump's new ad is any indication, that choice is becoming increasingly clear for millions of Americans. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. Now, Donald Trump's new campaign ad is more than just a political hit job. It's a wake-up call for the American electorate, a powerful reminder that elections have consequences and that the choices we make at the ballot box can have a profound impact on our economic well-being. By asking the simple yet penetrating question, are you better off than you were four years ago? Trump has forced us to confront the harsh reality of life under the Biden administration. For too many Americans, the answers are resounding no. They're working harder than ever but falling further behind. They're watching as their hard-earned dollars buy less and less as inflation eats away at their savings and their dreams. This is the legacy of Joe Biden and the Democrats. It's a legacy that we cannot afford to embrace. In 2024, we have a chance to chart a new course and put America on the path to prosperity and greatness under the leadership of President Donald Trump. So let's seize that chance before it's too late. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.